What's up guys, David here, and today we're gonna work on updating the look of our fireplace. So guys, you can see behind me the fireplace, uh, it's got this gold trim on the glass doors. We're gonna pull those doors off today, get them cleaned up, and we're gonna tape them off and spray them flat black to update the look of the fireplace. Try not to pay any attention to the tile, or that like orange mantle we've got going, that's that's all eventually gonna get replaced, but you gotta start somewhere. So that's where we're going today. So guys, you can see our fire release here. It's got this brass finish on the front of it. That's what we're gonna be working on today. We're gonna pull that off and repaint it. So first we need to pull this off, pull these doors back. There's a couple screws on either side, just fill up head screws. We're gonna take those off and then pull this off and get it cleaned up. So I wanted to use a drill but the drill won't get in there far enough, so I have to use this just with a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these screws. And it's out. We'll want to take a vacuum and clean all this up. Get any loose rock or gravel or sand. And set this down right here and we'll vacuum that up. So now we've got it removed, we're gonna take some cleaner and go over this front and back to get it good and cleaned up before we try to paint it. I'd recommend using some old towels, something you don't mind getting, uh, you know, getting grime and dirt and all kinds of stuff all over, just something you don't mind getting dirty. You can always wash it later. But I'm going to scrub this pretty good here. Alright guys, so now we have everything cleaned up and taped off, ready for spray. Let's see here, we've got the doors hanging down there. The handles. And the frame itself. We're going to open up the garage door here for ventilation and then we'll, we'll start spraying. Now we wait for about 20 minutes, let this dry, and then we'll hit it up with the second coat. Well guys, the paint is dry. We hit each of the pieces with three layers of this Rust-Oleum high temperature flat black paint. Uh, now it's time to remove all the tape and paper. We'll take them back in the living room and get them installed and see what it looks like. Well guys, we got all the tape and paper ripped off. Uh, we've got it reinstalled. Uh, it looks pretty good, I think but there are a couple places where the tape covered up part of the brass, just little tiny spots that we may have to go back and touch up later on. But I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out for the cost of a can of Rust-Oleum paint. I think it turned out pretty good, what do you think? Well guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, comment below and tell me some of the home projects you've done. And until next time, we'll see you later, guys.